Toronto Police Headquarters, where tomorrow a vote is expected to take place here on a controversial police program. It could see an initiative that places cops inside schools suspended. Some people may feel safe and comfortable with the police, but our black and indigenous and our undocumented students are telling us a lot of really horrible stories about their interactions with the Toronto police in their schools. Anti-racism advocate and activist Desmond Cole says it's time to suspend Toronto school resource officer program. It sees uniformed police officers placed in schools with the objective of improving safety and the relationships between students and police. But Cole argues the officers that walk the hallways are intimidating and the program is ineffective. We hear the stories from community but the police don't back it up uh, and provide any information. Just last month, Cole joined a slew of others to speak out in favor of the Toronto Police Services Board suspending the program. This program needs to be eliminated. And tomorrow, the board could decide the fate of SROs. It's really upsetting because I know how incredibly proactive it is. Megan McGarry has been an SRO for three years and says during her time, she saw the impact the officers had on students. There is no way that they would talk to me on the street. But in the hallways, they could come up to me and they could say, hey, Megan, this is going on. I don't really know what to do. Um, I don't have anybody at home. Um, so can you help me out? The SRO program was implemented with the hope that police could strengthen relationships in the community following the shooting death of 15-year-old Jordan Manners at a school in North York in 2008. 37 resource officers are stationed at 66 schools throughout Toronto and within the French, English, Catholic and public school boards. According to Toronto Police, from 2015 to 2017, there were six complaints against SROs. Two were informally resolved, two others were withdrawn, one was unfounded, and in another, an officer was disciplined. I will say I've heard some concerns expressed about the officers being in the schools. The Mayor John Tory admits the program has garnered negative attention from some. He says removing it without review would be the wrong thing to do. I think it would be less than responsible for people to just move now on the basis of their own feelings about it to abolish the program before we've conducted a proper review that hears from all sides and gets the facts. And a review of that program is currently underway. A third party is researching the effectiveness of the SRO program in our schools and is expected to report back in August. Meanwhile, Cole says he hopes to once again take the stand here and speak out against the SRO program at tomorrow's police board meeting.